Can you really still do it? <laughs> I don't know if I can. Face. It's not easy. I don't know. Boy, he's really going to be put on the spot here. This is not easy to do. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sounds awful. Excuse me. Get in there. Can I try it? Let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try it. Guys. Excuse me. I, uh, I had beans this morning in my omelet, and I'm not, I, I haven't been the same. Yo, what's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Happy Welcome to Friday. Friday. Pod to Pod, everybody. We're in the house. We just did something. Which was so cool, because honestly, guys, we have not watched this movie in, I mean, 20, I've not watched the movie in 20, 20 plus 20 years. years. 20 yeah. years. We did a movie together called Jumping Ship, which is on Disney+, Plus, and on our supercast for our community over there, and you guys have been so great, and it's growing, and we're so happy to have you over there, we did a rewatch of that, and it was on Disney+, Plus. so if you want to go over to our supercast and check it out and kind of watch it with us, yep. we, you know, obviously talk about it and make fun of it and have some fun with each other. Sneak peek. Jumping ship. Tommy and Michael thought they were going on their dream vacation. They thought wrong. We're about to be hit by pirates. Now, all they want out of their trip is to survive it. But it was so cool. How wild was it? it just to to watch that movie and just reflect on all those crazy moments. I know. Joe, can you hit that sign behind you, the on air sign? Sure. Yeah, I Thank can. Thank you. Yeah, I hit the on-air sign. Look at this. Because guess what? Because we are on, on air, air, everybody. There we yeah. go. Um, no, but uh, it is. it was so cool. Guys, that was such an amazing experience. I just, like, being in Australia with you yep. guys, I mean, as a family and doing a movie like that. And that's what, back when they made Disney Channel movies, like, really good. I mean, it, you know, and and we wanted to Michael be Lang better, was course. the director. Michael Lang directed this one. Um, it was kind of a sequel to Horse Sense, which was very successful. Greg Beeman directed the first. Greg Beeman directed mm -hmm. that. Who's who went on to direct Smallville was his oh, show oh, and yeah, like no, no, many no. many things. Amazing Greg stuff. Beeman's wonderful. Yes, yeah. yes. amazing. We got to get. He Greg also Beeman directed on the one pod. of my very favorite '80s movies, which was called License to Drive. Oh with yes. Corey Ames. Oh yeah. He directed that. It was. Wait, who else was in that? Well, uh, um, the girl in that was. Um, there was a lot of people in that movie. Yeah, I can I can look I it up. Remember that but movie. License to Drive was. If you want to ride in my Mercedes, boy, yeah. yeah. That song was from that movie. I'm doing it right now. Do it right now. I'm texting Greg Beeman right now. Do it. What? Yep. you have his number? I do. I ran into him not that long ago. Really? And we were kind of chatting a bit. Yeah. Wow. But I just remember, like, I remember even, like, the first scene of Jumping Ship, like, when we met with your character on the boat mm -hmm. and the Tiffany, which was... Remember, I thought we were on the like the right yacht. It was this mm -hmm. great yacht, and you sold us this bill of goods, and I yeah. chartered this yacht. And it was this dump. You're this. I like what they do on Airbnb these yeah, days. Yeah, right. You see the photos, and you Where get did they there. They photograph this from. It must have been <laughs> up in the corner with a with a 180 degree lens. Yeah. This room looks huge in the portfolio. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, and and it was just, I just remember so many great memories, like our yeah. lunches, mm -hmm. just being on the beach and just mm -hmm. filming on the boat, and the storm we got trapped in. And I remember, I remember, I mean, I don't know, man. There were just. Just such great moments. Well, how about guys. when we were swimming down through those caves? That was actually in the hotel pool, which was, was. a saltwater pool. Was. It was 30 feet deep. Yes. With caves, fish, turtle. It was the most unbelievable amazing. hotel pool. It was amazing. I went in that mud pit, which I oh, hated. Yeah. That mud pit. They built this horrific mud pit, and I had to jump in, and it was like it had natural gas in it, so it was... It felt like little bubbles were going up my legs. Wait, was that a real mud pit? Maybe it was, because it had natural get. When I jumped in it, the it felt like there were bugs crawling no, up my legs. No, there wasn't an actual mud. I can't imagine they would do that. I feel like they dug that pit. Maybe. Well, I mean, on horse sense, How do they, they get dug... natural gas to come out? I don't it? know, man. That might have just been me. I might have had gas. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, but uh, I don't know. I mean, it was just... Uh... It was wild. It is was it wild. too out of the blue to just text Greg Beeman, who I haven't talked to in over a decade? Hey, Mr. Beeman, is this still you? <laughs> Andy Lawrence and the Lawrence Brothers here. We have a podcast. Uh, love to have you on. Hope you're well, buddy. I love it. I love it. And you know what? Do it. I think everyone listening will love it as well. What do you guys think? Should Andy send that? Why not, dude? It's a, it's a, it's a small world, and it's a short life we live, and we only get one chance at it. So let's carpe let's make diem. This the best of it. That's it. Seize the day. Anyway. Um, but it or was as just, Robin Williams used to call it, carpe diem, when you'd get your residuals or per diem. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Is that what he used to say? Yeah. Carpe. Carpe. Yeah, right. like you pay Love your it. car payment right, right. from your per diem. Right. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> Which is, if anybody doesn't know out there, per diem is something they give you when you're on location. Right. And you, as an actor, you're, you're flown to this location. They give you 
outside of your salary, they give you, or they used to, I don't know if they're still doing it. They do, it. and some people still yeah, do Yeah, they that. still do it. They give you some cash every day for you to take care of yourself. Eat. Right. You know, make sure that you're not spending all your, your paycheck on just trying to take care of yourself. On surviving. It's out of state yeah. survival is what exactly. it is. Because yeah. you're having and to- And it's you're wonderful. Having to, you're having to order ever, in food. You ever, like, to sock it away? You, yeah. you ever sock it away your per diem? Well, I, I got a funny story about I that. Tried. I did a movie in Canada. Oh, yeah. Now, wait. At that point, my representatives had negotiated quite a, a nice per diem sum every day. Right. Back when you could do that. Yeah. But. Industry standards. Mm -hmm. The dollar was twice the Canadian oh, right. dollar. Right. Right. So right. I had, talk about sacking it away, I had a sock drawer full of Canadian Cash. That's so cool. Or coins. It felt like Monopoly Lots money. Of loonies. Yeah. I had so much Canadian cash in there, I didn't know what to do with it. Tons of loonies. So cool. Unbelievable. All right, it's let's so talk cool. about the movie that we made in Australia, though. Yeah. Which one was that again? It's called Jumping sorry, Ship. Oh, jeez. No, jumping Ship. Um, and uh, I don't know, man. I, I just or as so we like to memories. refer to it. Well, you, Jumping Shit. We were We were really it. harsh. Honestly, I think <laughs> we were a little harsh on it. We were. I mean, it, was, it wasn't as bad as I remember. I mean, we wanted it to no. be Titanic. Well, yeah. It was not Titanic. <laughs> uh, we were like, if we can make this Days of Thunder. We, we actually wanted to be Goonies. Remember? Yeah. yeah. With, the, with the treasure hunt and stuff. Yeah. Look, but actually watching it, it back. It's pretty enjoyable for it what being it was. a 23 year old movie, yeah. like, that was made for the Disney Channel. I know. It's not I bad. Mean, it's not bad. And let's just let's know we actually went to Australia. We filmed yeah. the whole thing there. It was yep. what an experience that we was. We got an amazing huh? dog from there. Yeah. We bought a dog named Tiffany. Do you remember we, so we were, I remember we were walking through a mall or a something, mall. and we saw. It was an outdoor mall. We saw yes, these was. puppies, and it was like they were like five bucks American, five yeah. dollar they were American. American. And we we were we were we kind of were were flirting with the idea, and went back and forth, and then one day we went back, and there was one left. And what do you mean one day? One day Matt went back, yeah, and bought the puppy. I don't remember exactly how it went down, but anyway, we got the dog, and they wouldn't allow the the puppy in the hotel. Right. So mom, we had like a duffel bag smuggled and we in. smuggled yeah. the dog into the hotel and would change room because we had all so many rooms with the family, right? right. So we would change rooms. You'd go yeah. from your room yeah. to and she would room sleep, to my room. And she would sleep yeah. in mom's room and yeah. sometimes in the bathroom yeah. and we'd bring her to the set and then we flew home with her. And I, and I, I can't imagine poor Tiffany was under the plane. I know. I know. How cruel is that? Oh, I uh, hate putting the dogs on. I know. I, 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 there's actually a new airline that's a pet friendly I airline. I saw that. that. I'm very what airlines about this. is this? I don't, it's like a new airline where they have a seat and then it's not Boeing is it? This compartment about, next whatever. to your seat, yeah. specifically for the dog. And no it's, way! And it's up to eighty nine pounds or eighty yeah. pounds. But yeah. if it's over 80, eighty pounds, if it's over over eighty pounds, you just have to buy this, the seat and the, the compartment next to you for the just the dog. It's pretty cool. But yeah, they allow really any cool. size dog because nobody wants to fly. It's, There's it's, so it many horror stories. Yeah. yeah, I mean people dog people. How, they literally airlines so lose your dog. The owner, the owner of this company, I believe, uh, didn't expect what it, what inspired him to do it was that he actually flew in a dog crate no. under a plane. That's, a, they, that's illegal. No, they let you he's do. the owner of the airline. He actually flew in a dog crate wow. under an airplane under the airplane for three hours, take off and landing, and he said it was miserable. Yeah. He said it's not temperature controlled. Oh he gosh. said it's loud and 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 you, and you just rock oh around gosh. the whole time, oh and it's dark, gosh. so you don't know where you are. So it's basically just a oh dark, my loud, gosh. cold, windy vortex. No, that can't happen. And oh and he goodness. was like, it's really. He was like, he, was, he said he said he imagined for a dog, it was ab or an animal, it was it would be absolutely terrifying, and that's what inspired him to do this. Mm. Wow. Uh, yeah, wow. I think that's the story. I, that wow. might not, but this ha that did happen. Like, the guy did fly wow. in a dog crate underneath an airplane. Crazy. It was wild. So, so you heard about this guy who tried to get his way to Hawaii? So he ran out on the uh, tarmac and went into, like, you know, you see in act old action movies where he got up into the oh boy. Um, landing Wait, gear. I did hear about this. I think he didn't make it. Wow. I think he froze to death. <laughs> what a story. Matt! Well... <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he made it. Back to jumping ship, some of our greatest memories. Oh my gosh. Uh, Matt guys. and I were in an argument before we started the pod because we I I called the the theme at the end of the movie uh a theme that was written by James Horner from Rocketeer. And it I said it was similar. a theme written by Hans Zimmer from White Fan. And I think we're well, both right, weird although is, no, clearly they were inspired. Right. They didn't obviously yeah, miss them, right. but I we'll think they were inspired we'll by the, both those because I, I'm trying to find that spot, Joe, in the movie. We're both right. 
Let's see if we can see the hear those notes. My older see. brother's telling me, "No, I'm right." It's, uh, oh no, I the know. spinning wheel of death. Yep, yep. Anyway, sometimes when you're down in the basement, you can kind of decide for yourself. Not so I'm not sure great. how much we can actually air play of other people's music. So, well, but check out the the Rocketeer theme and no, check no, out no, the no. White I'll, Fang I'll real quick. soundtrack because it's not even the main theme. Even though mine is like the main theme of Rocketeer, easily found. Matt, you got to deep dive the soundtrack to find this chord progression that kind of matches what we're talking about. It does. So, but I would say we're both T-Mobile right. over there. Yes. I don't know what it is that this is doing this. I had it all queued up and then you guys were rambling. And Are you was, serious? Yeah, I did. I had it all queued well, up. Restart. Oh my God. Anyway, I will. I will. you guys can decide for yourselves. I think we're moderately both right leaning in my direction. No. I think, wow, that's a shocking assessment of yourself. No, no, I remember I having hate to a do conversation. It, but if I had to do it, it would be my. Okay, so wait, there's a backstory to this. <laughs> the reason why I'm leaning towards <laughs> Matt being right on this one is because you mean you? Yeah, because I mean me. Because Andy had found we were in this, we were in this like really cool. At least thank you for giving me credit for finding that CD gift shop. That's Hold the on. opening, the end, Joe. The Shut end. Oh, we were in this really That's... cool. Don't play too much. Can I explain the story first, yeah, Joe. Don't play too much. Turn the volume down and cue it up yourself right, while I explain well, the story. I don't story. want to lose it again. Hold on, right, no, go no, go don't play ahead. it while you're explaining the story because we can't play too much. So you explain the story about how I found this. So we were in this really cool Aboriginal. Yes, um, I was there with you guys. Store. Yeah, in Australia, and I think yeah. it was in Sydney. Yeah, and it's like the Tembe or something like that. Or and we found this I wish we could find amazing that band. You know, you know, I have my CD collection still. We got to look for. I that. have thousands. Because of by CDs. the way, do you really? I burned thousands. mine out. So cool. I burned that CD out. I kept it on in rotation. Yeah, it was a hundred percent of the time. Which used there to be my, my office is now Andy's closet. Yeah, there was, yeah. and I I had my chameleons in there. And yeah. It was so soothing. And they yep. loved it too. So I just had it playing 24 hours a day. There was that? Waterfall. Oh, one yep. with had a waterfall on yep. it with like a lion. And the yep. other one was two giraffes That's with right. a dark. Yep. Anyway, dark Andy found these oh, CDs gosh. and they were so oh, my God. amazing. You remember, so, you remember back in the day when you, like my favorite, just a little side note, my favorite thing to do ever was to, I would go to Tower Records and I would sample oh, the I'll music. Because that's the only way. You, and I would spend hours as hours. a kid. So much fun. Like sampling Music so, so much so if you somebody was behind you and they yeah, they would get sample, angry and, and you'd be like I'm sorry yeah, I'm yeah, sorry because yeah, yeah. you could go and it was and I really it was one of my favorite Just ten dude more. it was one of my favorite yeah. things to do discover music and listen to music and find songs and then so when, when now I, Apple does it for me I know and, I know. and it's cool but that was no, a whole it was cool. really an experience man cool. I I do I do miss the, the just the the experience this real experience yeah it was really quite and anyway in Australia but so we went to this little shop and they had those samples I know but I'm just giving some backstory to paint it and we were in Australia and it was like this far cool place and it was like hot and sunny and tropical and wild and we went to this little store and they had all these aboriginal masks and didgeridoos and kangaroo scrotums leather kangaroo scrotums which i actually have yes. very strange yes. brought a bunch back for my friends uh i wonder if they still have them scrotum for we you ask them scrotum for you we did it as a I joke did. family as yeah, a joke yeah. we brought like yeah. 30 of them it back was really game. weird oh, now i think about it, it that's horrible Okay, and could you not kill move. the mood and continue the story, please? Now that anyway, I think about it, it's horrible. Then you just get depressed. I'm going to... Nothing about it, it's horrible. Oh. <laughs> I might still have it somewhere. I'll look. I'm anyway. going to continue the story. Oh, well, this is back <laughs> in the 90s, so <laughs> it's early 2008. Anyway, so I, anyway 2001, so discovering bro. music in this really cool place. Andy discovered oh, this music. Oh, oh. We brought it to the soundtrack. Well, Andy was only 12. Oh, I was a little older. I'd come off of doing Boy Meets World, so I thought I had a little bit more pull with the Disney crew. And I was like, listen... Yeah. We really want you guys to use this music. And they didn't they wouldn't do it. They didn't use any of in it. In the compromise, they were asking us what I remember soundtracks we really loved, and I loved White Fang. That's why I think I'm correct. Well, let's hear it here. That's Hold the on. point of the Hold entire on. story. Where is it, Joe? That's it. So I offered to buy the boat with our reward money. We are all gonna be partners. No. Yeah, that's it. We need the big swell, though. We're right here. Are you serious? Rocketeer. Yeah. You said it yourself, they changed one note there. Now, wait. Okay, play the Rocketeer. So, okay. see. Okay. It's, okay. So and then it's, I'm going to play so White Fang. So, it's... Right. Wait, wait, wait. It's close. Now, listen to okay, White very Fang. Very close. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's, that is almost it. It is. It's wow. so close. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's it. it. Matt rules the day. Maybe. 
Maybe. Does he see have an ejector button on it? I wish. No, um, it's so they na, literally na, basically na, changed like one na, note na, from White Fang. Na, yes. Yeah. Na, na, I know because I had that to- was White Fang. Da, na, 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 na. This one is da, na, 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 na. Yeah, exactly. They just changed na, the last na, na, notes so they didn't have any copyright infringement. Na, na, na. Well, that's good. Hans Zimmer. Amazing. Wow. Yep, Amazing. I remember because I, look, I it's almost like I was a little bit cheating. I did have a conversation with. No, I remember you. I remember you. A little insider cheating, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. That soundtrack, this guy right here. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> oh, god. What are some other fun memories? I told him I was like, I love white fish. Got stung yeah. by a jellyfish. Yes, you did. You know, yes, I have really cool scrapbooks. Uh, that the set tutor Cameron, who was really awesome. Oh uh, yeah, he was awesome. He came out to L.A. once, and I think I was like such a little twerp teenager. I was like with my friends, and I never, I didn't really hang out with him enough. Really? Yeah. Oh, do you remember? Do you remember when we were? I feel um, bad about that. Was this cool. day. He was such a cool nice guy. Little, I hope he's doing well. Remember the nice little kid that used to drive us to set every day? Me girlfriend. Oh yeah. And he'd tell us all his stories about his girlfriend. But he was, he would always, they would always get in these horrible fights. And he'd be like, he'd be like, it was a tumultuous was it tough night for us. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like. Well, me girlfriend and I had yeah. another fight. We were like, it was always me girlfriend. Me girlfriend. Every every know, day. He would tell us, and that's how he would discuss it. Me girlfriend. Oh my God, it's all coming back to me now. There was a lot it's of things on that set. It's coming back. It's coming back to me now. There were times. Is that right. Celine Dion? Celine Dion. I wish. Yeah. If you love me like this. Oh, yeah. And you love me like that. <laughs> <laughs> And we are coming back to me. me. Smashing on her chest. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. What a what a voice though. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. I mean Celine Dion in her prime was yeah. wow. Could basically sing anything. Anyway, that's incredible that, yeah. that it really is white fang. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there were a couple of great moments that like when we were building there, look, they had some good music moments, but then they missed a lot of music moments. Yes. Too. We were building the raft. Remember when we were building the raft? Yeah. It was this very strange music. I don't know. It was like a bang, bang, bang. Yeah, it was a like weird. A bang, bang, bang. And then they and then they went yeah. to like for some of the serious moments, they went to like this lethal weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Clapton. <laughs> you know what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, he just came back to me. What? I told, I told them, them yeah. Andy's favorite yeah. stuff was Lethal Weapon. I think I think Perfect. we did tell them this. That was yeah. the compromise. Uh, my it favorite was White movie. Fang and Lethal Weapon. Yeah, my that's such wow. an odd. My favorite what a movie weird. growing <laughs> up ever. Was that's the, right. Was I can't believe it. That was that was that was hilarious. Dude, but Lethal Weapon 1, 2, and 3. They're, and and four. 4. They're all great, but Lethal Weapon, specifically 2 and, two three. and 3, are, oh, yeah, are really, some of the really best. And they're only good because of how good of a foundation 1. Like, you need to yes, know. But, yes. But, man, I... The way they built on that I with can't wait, Pesci's you know, I can't wait Leo to watch. Oh, my God. And then introducing Rene Russo. Dude, 3 was so good. It was, three it was wild. was so I've good. never... I've never... I, it actually might be the best, like... I know. Trilogy... Installment ever. ever. I mean, it was. I mean, ever. Star Wars is arguably pretty good too. The it original, is, but three, I'm but, telling you something. But that Lethal Weapon three was. They didn't arguably get better. Oh my gosh, those movies, like yeah, the Star Wars true. movies, they were. They either, kind of sustained. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They each individually the had their own. Lethal the Weapon franchise, actually got better. It got better. I don't know the how that's possible. One that Indiana I think, Jones. That was the last. Yeah. I was going to say Last Crusade is that my one favorite. is my favorite one. Yeah, me too. Absolutely, Indy. Literally love that movie. Yes, they've hit us son. That's so good. Those two guys together yeah. on screen. Again, adding Absolutely. Sean Connery to that Is mix. Is someone's phone Legendary. ringing? No. Adding Sean Connery oh, yes. to that mix was you Guys can't even put your phone on for like brilliant. 40 minutes. No, it was minutes. on vibrate. The reason why it was on because I was off. trying to get the White Fang soundtrack before. Yeah, bro. White Fang, man. Everybody knows that. <sighs> what were we talking about? I did a whole school uh, project on what? the- Oh, my didgeridoo is actually over there from Australia. Mm. That's nice. Mm. Want to grab it for me? I'll play if you know. I bought this for you, That's. I don't think that's the one you bought. That's the one I bought. The one you bought is up in my closet. Yeah, that's you like... have two didgeridoo. You're yeah. blocking my camera. Yeah, Matt, can oh, sorry, you dude. can you sorry, sit sorry, down? Sorry, 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 sorry. Just sit back. In your ah, my back. green one or my it's my green. That's one, a green right? one. Yeah, I didn't yeah. buy that one. Oh, that one's that one's that, minute, that's not have... all, as authentic as the one I got, Andy. You have the, two didgeridoos. No, they're that's not as authentic. authentic. But who has two didgeridoos? Well, me when you're Andy an does. amazing didgeridoo player. You're not. Oh no, is he gonna do it? I haven't done it so long. I don't know if I could do it anymore. Is it clean? It's got some mold on the bottom. Ew. Ew. Can you really still do it? I don't know if I can. It. It's not easy. I don't know. Boy, he's really going to be put on the spot here. This is not easy to do. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sounds awful. Excuse me. Getting there. Not bad. Wow. Wow, it's really hard. It is. It's not easy. People think it's easy. It's not. Uh, that's getting there. It needs a little bit of work. 
Can I try it? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Guys, excuse me. I uh, I had beans this morning in my omelet, and I'm not. I've, I haven't been the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn. Oh. Okay, my turn. Hey, and you moved it. I didn't move anything. I didn't move anything, dude. That's not bad, actually. It's, it's really it's, hard. It's hard. To even get that tone out of it, it's kind of hard. Nice. Hey, let me try. Let me try after Andy spit all over. It's so ears. gross. Ew. I'm not even near Shmi. Oh, God. It's literally all Ew. sopping. That's how you do it. You got to get a little Sopping wet. You got to get a little whip. Oh, let me see. Ew. It's all about the suction. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a kazoo, man. You're turning it into a kazoo. Oh, wow, I really can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I used to do it pretty good. Can't do it. <sighs> I'm sure everybody's oh. really thrilled to have been spending their Friday with us. Yeah, the did you redo it? Yeah, yeah. Get that out of my face. Ew. <laughs> it sounds like a dying. Hold on, hold on. I can't do it like that. I can do it like this. You're done. This is it. It's your last one. That's pretty good. Wow. It's not bad tone, man. It's kind of relaxing. The... No, add in the, the vocals. Wow. Okay. You know what a ditchery do is made out of? <laughs> what? One Easy. one tree root. One tree root. That's yep. it. One wow. tree root, and then and then the actual no, mouth wet mouth is shaped with wet with wax. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Sorry, awesome. cool. You should, you should let it air out, though, before you <laughs> close it in the case. <laughs> I know. That's why no, it's got honestly, some mold bro, on. bro, you should definitely let it air out, bro. Your spit has just been in there. I wouldn't put it right in the bag. Uh, no, no. Oh, that's not good. It's been back in... It's with the spit uh, from 20 years ago, man. Ew, bro. Yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah. Wow, yeah. bro. That's not good. Yeah. Ew. That's gross. Good stuff. Sounded good, though. Um, wow. wow. Uh, <laughs> we just said it at the same time, you and me, Matt. Jinx, spots, pants, break, break hands. hands. Um... No, but honestly, you know what else was great? I remember, do you remember those restaurants we would go to where we'd sit outside? Yeah. The food was, the food was, was really good. It was good. Really Violet good. crumbles. Remember that? Oh, that's, you're talking about the candy. And, well, well just, yeah. I'm talking so, about food in general. Veggie most Mike. of the cafes in Australia well, are geared to, to being mostly outside. Yeah. yeah. I remember having these great meals. We'd sit outside, oh, have, like yeah. the fresh fish tacos and... Just so good. So it was a lot so of good, and a lot of their produce. So all the greens and fruits are all very local. Yeah, they are. They're very, uh, very organic. They always kind of was ahead of the no curve forever chemicals that. over there, huh? No. Yeah. And you remember well, not back then, anyway? And this was twenty years in ago. In the red was, dirt. Yeah. But I, I, we were always shocked as Americans mm. because their minimum wage was twenty dollars. Right. So you didn't tip. Nobody tipped. Right. We always felt very awkward, awkward about not tipping. But yet the service. Was so good because they actually it was like they really took it seriously. Well, it, was there. A, it was a legit paycheck. Yeah, it was a know? legitimate. Yeah, yeah. So like it was. Uh, yeah, I, I just remember it was. It. We, I, I just remember. Remember when we got trapped in that storm? I was just gonna say we oh got there was gosh. a there was a like a, a monsoon tr a tropical crazy storm. It was we actually were, a one in one hundred year. Yeah, storm. and we yeah. were in the ocean. That scene we were on the raft. Yep. Trying to get out, see when the pirates were coming in, yeah. we got on the raft. But we were they also really, us. we were really filming on a keg, like a keg. Like we had to travel like an yeah, hour right. to these small little islands. Right. Yep. It's true. And then right. we docked the crew. And then we had like a home base where there were like two or three little boats docked yep. where like the crew would go and yep. the cameras and yep. craft service and yep. stuff and make yep. them. And then we had our production vehicle yep. where like, yep. right. And so, yep. sorry, go ahead. No, no, good. No, That's we were it. just, we were, the storm came rolling in and they were, they were like, hopefully it'll turn, but we're going to shoot anyway. And I remember we went out it was came cold and nowhere. dark and then came and out. and they scary. they, scary, they we, scary. yeah they basically said we got to with like an emergency we got to get everybody back and yeah. and there was i don't know if it was somebody on the crew or somebody just passing by but there was somebody with like an epic there was somebody with an epic speedboat speed boat. i mean it was yes. incredible. it was dark gray. it was black and gray and it was insane Looked and like they, it out of like either like mammy vice yeah or they put us bigger. on it and yeah. we hauled ass back we to did. shore we it was it, we I could mean, catch an air it like was, yeah, it was bad. I mean, to the point well, where we lost a couple of the houseboats that were the production yeah, vehicles and the production stuff. vehicles yeah. we lost and the, driving the, back the hotel was insane oh, the waves were crashing they washed out most of the yeah, roads hitting the, the minivan the minivan huge storm was sliding around in the yeah. surf yeah it was insane it was but we really, were like, oh it was nuts it was really yeah. crazy and uh um the k that we were filming on that we were kind of docking out of Got completely submerged, submerged. underwater. 
I remember that. Like, it yeah. was insane. Yeah, it was storm. wild stuff. It was really, it was a big really one. wild. Real big one. So you could fun, see though. it whipping in, too. It was scary. It was. It came fast. fast. The oceans over there were so alive. Southern Ocean. There was just so much fish and so many, there was so many fish and there were sharks, I remember. one of the, There was an attack remember where that? we were filming. Oh, yeah. I remember, well, one day that everybody was really lax and then remember the, because di- we had divers when we were, whenever we did we in water We had literally stuff. shark safety divers. Well, wait, the we next, did. remember the next day they had spear guns. They did. And everybody, yeah. we were like, why are these guys way more equipped like yeah. the first day, they were in their they board just had a shorts, knife yeah, on their and then, ankle, and then they were in like full wetsuits with, yeah. go- with goggles and spear guns. We we're like, "What's going on?" And then we found out that within like eighteen hours, uh, Matt says a bull. I thought it was a tiger. Probably was a bull. Uh, ate somebody or attacked yeah. somebody yeah. in yeah. right where we were filming. Right where we yeah. were filming. Like, and yeah. um, I remember because of the storms and the unusual weather. Oh yeah, the, the water was so murky. Yes, it was, and that's what was freaking them out. Yeah. Right. I remember, I remember them being generally was so low. these guys who were like. Yeah. So laid back, oh. these Aussie guys. Yeah, and they're like they were they're, actually they're, they were they were pretty like they were pretty, walking around Thor's. Yeah, they're just, they were just Thor walking yeah, but around. They were, yeah, but they were pretty unnerved. They were about they were. us being in the water. Yeah, yeah. That murky. I remember after a storm like they that, made they us were stay not much closer range. Yep, they mm-hmm. made us stay right near the boat. Yeah, they didn't they let us not wander. I remember. That. I remember that. I yeah, because they had to make it seem like we were out in the middle of nowhere, but they were very specific about nope, can't do that, not right now because we can't see can't see anything yeah there's this really cool place you guys didn't get to go well you stayed did you get there before us before and i stayed and you stayed right because you were there before us for at least what a week oh no no no. it was more than like three weeks you are wow three weeks before i mean i just always dreamed literally i'd always dreamed of australia i mean right right ever since my favorite animated movie as a kid was the rescuers down under right what a great movie great movie guys i still always want to recreate do you remember the opening shot from that movie I thought it was one of the most brilliant opening shots to an animated movie. Okay. So it opens up on this little beetle and it's crawling and then it it crawling on the ground. It goes, Mm -hmm. and then it crawls up this blade of grass and it gets to the tip of the blade of grass and it flaps open its little shell and its little wings come out. You know how that happens with a beetle? Of course. And then it flaps its wings twice. It goes, bloop, bloop. And then the camera goes, it rack focuses. I thought this was so brilliant for an opening of of an animated movie. It rack focuses from the beetle, and you realize it's at the top of the blade of grass across this huge field. And it goes, and then the camera speeds off into the, and it goes all the way through the field with this incredible music and comes right into the house of the little kid. That's so cool. And he's, and it isn't show the kid. It comes over his shoulder and shows his hands, and he's on the old school radio. He's like, is anybody out there? Is anybody out? It was one of the coolest openings. Anyway, I loved that movie. And then Crocodile Dundee. Oh. oh. The score to that movie, mm. the cinematography, the outback. That was that was oh. a, that was another great sequel. Great sequel. I fell in but love the, with it. But the first one was I fell in love with it like I fell in love with um, Out of Africa. Crocodile Dundee 2. And the soundtrack Good. and how badly Good. I just wanted to go to Australia and Africa. That was yeah. the, the, the two places that I just dreamed about as a kid. Paul Hogan. <sighs> oh man, that Crocodile was Dundee. So great. I think he's still alive. I think Paul Hogan's still alive. Yeah, he's sure. still alive. I would know if he's, he's got to be pretty old. Huge he's pretty fan. old now. He's got because he was old when he did that. I know. He was like forty or something. Like he broke very, very late, very late in yeah. terms of like having a career. But I think he was like forty years well, old. You know, or he's something. got. I'm sure he's got one of those stories. And that I think I've heard it where he went wanted to make that thing for oh yeah. my a gosh. decade or so. He's eighty four. Wow. Okay. Oh so my. That goodness. movie is forty years. Uh, uh not quite thirty nine years old. So wow. he was what? If he's 40, he's 84. So he was 40. Wow. Yeah. Wow, dude. Let me see. Wow. Let me see. Oh, Hogan, man. What an epic. epic. You know what's awesome. funny? I wound up um, getting into a relationship with an Australian uh, lady, and she was wonderful. And uh, you, weren't, you went back, right? Oh, yeah. I went back to Australia again for months and months just to hang out. Um, yeah. But, uh, and there was a funny story about. Australians had had like this mixed feeling because he had been so he was he was I don't know how but he was sort of well known in Australia. Mm-hmm. He was like a local legend this guy Paul Hogan. And they really loved his wife, the Australians. And they had this marriage for like 20 years and his wife I think was more famous oh, than he was or something. Oh, okay, okay, right. And then he did the movie and, and he, he fell did in love the with Linda Keslowski. And he fell in love and got divorced and got with her and the Australians were like really upset with him for that. I know I went back like literally 20 years after this movie was made and they were still yeah. talking about how they wanted they wish he had stayed with his wife and he fell for the Hollywood, you know, the, the whole Hollywood thing and right. yeah. Really Is he still married to her? 
I don't know. It's you could question. probably find out. I, I, I really I don't, don't know. know. Deep dive in Paul Hogan now. I'm wow. so curious. Paul Hogan, a deep dive. Deep dive on Crocodile mm. Dundee. Oh, uh, Mick, uh, Mick will be back. That guy. Oh, he's man. passed away. He's like really? best friend. Yes, I know that Oh, for he fact. was such a great actor, man. But when they came in, remember when oh. she, as the writer, she gets off to do the piece on yeah. this Crocodile Dundee. Yeah. And she asks him, she walks in that local bar yep. or whatever, and she's like, is he coming? He's like, oh, Mick, uh, uh, well... <laughs> Nobody really knows when oh Mick is going to be back. I, it was so, mm. and then they cut to that scene, and dude, he's out there. We've talked about Crocodile before on the pod, but so, we love it so much. So yeah. he, he, he. Unfortunately, they were married from 1990 to 2014. Wow! Oh, so they did years. stay together for a long time, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. Okay. Hmm. So, so wow. Okay. Uh, so he's and, and he's just chilling now, huh? He's not he's with, just a. Yeah, they're just. Yeah, they're He's both just an older man enjoying his older menness. Wow, eighty four. Wow, it's amazing. Jeez, I want. Does he live in Australia? He, he yeah, must, absolutely. Right? He does. Who would not? Yeah, I mean, no, I understand. yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're an Australian treasure. I mean, yeah. yeah. Anyway, back wow. to the R movie, and mm. you guys didn't get to go to this place called Burley Heads, which is this really yeah. cool spot. But there's this this gorgeous river. That has very, very clear water that literally lets out over this crystal white sand. I mean, it, it, it's it's epic. Literally lets out over this one peak um, away from the beach into the ocean. And you see the mixture of the salt and the fresh water. And it's this gorgeous white sand. And you can literally jump off the white sand right into this clear, right by the beach. Like, it's like the ocean's right there. And then you got this crystal clear, like, stream. But it's like a, it's wide. It's about 20 mm. feet wide. This let down. It's deep. And it's going straight through white sand. So it's an incredible so cool. experience. And I'm sitting there. I just jumped in the ocean. And I'm sitting there. And I was jumping off into the river. And then I'm sitting back for a second. And Joe, a giant bull shark. Goes no. from the ocean and swims up the clear water. And I just watched this bull shark. I mean, literally 30 seconds before that, I was swimming right where this bull shark just glided right by me and went up into the river. And then I was like, wow. Thing going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. wow. Really crazy. And I was like, oh, wow, this is mm-hmm. this is no joke out here. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then a little wow. further up, saltwater crocodiles. Massive. Right. Which we had in our movie. Salty. We had the, salty. What was the James Bond movie? It was Live and Let Die when he's jumping across the saltwater crocodiles. Oh. <laughs> so, so did you ever see when he runs? You guys, I just watched all the James Bond, like all did of them. Did you? Why? I mean, they're amazing, but you just watch them all together? Why like, not? all in a row? Why? I sat Bro. down, and I started, and I didn't stop. No, I, over, like, a the couple... The Roger Moore like, ones are amazing. A couple weeks, but oh, my they're gosh. They're so funny. They really are worth... Like, it's worth it to rewatch all yeah, 40 no, it is. of them. No, some of the Sean Connery ones are excellent. The Roger all good. Ones, the Roger Moore ones, they're some of them great. were good. Some of them were really funny and very dated. Yeah, for whatever um, reason, whether it's, like, yeah. whether you're laughing at it, or whether it's entertaining, or whether it's just nostalgic, actually, or whatever. Actually, the first Timothy Dalton one I actually they're really liked, fun. too, The Living Daylights, I thought it was pretty good. To see, like, the different directors' takes and all the different openings. The Pearson Brosnan ones were so Ooh, great. Yeah, those yeah. were, those were, those were really That's good. That's when it took on a whole. Ones. I feel like with they the Pierce really Brosnan good. ones, like we didn't know how lucky we had it. They, they Connery and Pierce were both, in my incredible. mind, kind of the best. The best. Yeah. I mean, Daniel Craig was great. The movies he was in was great. Yeah. Uh, the last one really let me down. I you hated can't kill the last one. Off. Can't kill Bond. And sorry like if I that. ruined it, but by now you should have seen it. <laughs> yeah, shame you on you. It's yeah. been two years. Well, I mean, you can't kill off James Bond. Uh, you know what I mean? Just leave it a mystery. In a I have, I have a, yeah, I have a little confession a mystery. to make. Don't kill him off. Please. Andy did ruin it for me. He you went and saw it? it. And he, yeah, so my confession is I never went to see it. Oh. Uh, yeah, honestly, dude, you didn't miss it. Because me. honestly, I didn't know it's good. I didn't want to see It's really good. Skyfall. Killer. So I didn't go Skyfall's see it. amazing. Casino Royale, yeah, great. killer. But literally, Andy saw it like on opening weekend. He come back and he's like, "I can't believe they killed Bond." And I'm like, "Well, there well everyone knew they killed. They, everybody was the talk of the town. I didn't it know. Nobody knew it. Didn't know. It well, they were talking about it for a while. By the, by the way, not to digress, but Paul Hogan was born in 1939, and Crocodile Dundee wow. came out in '86. So he was 47. Wow. Yeah, well, I mean, Gene Hackman he was, was my age. Gene Hackman was 50 when he did started his acting, and he's an American treasure. Wow. He was my age. That's wild. Yeah. You know, it's funny. It reminds me of this social media post that I just came across where Wasn't they showed I think he was they showed people who maybe that's, maybe that's acquired Let's see. went from zero wealth to great wealth and the ages they did it at. And some people, they did it in their fifties and even sixties, dude. So we wow. still We got a chance. You're, you're cha- saying we got a chance. <laughs> I love it. That's so funny. That's I was so funny. literally just gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh what boy. are the chances if you were not one in a million? So you're saying 
There's a chance. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Uh, Dumb and Dumber, oh, that movie's great. Oh, my gosh. Great um, movie. It was great. It was so, so great. You know what we said is that those Tiffany two hats, I even like the kind of that red burned out Tiffany hat you yeah, had. Yeah, I know. But the Tiffany two hat, that dark navy, navy with the blue, gold. With the gold. Why didn't we get those hats? I don't hats? know why we didn't get any or keep any. We're going to have to make them. We're going to have to make some hats. We're going to have to make recreate them. We have to. Yeah, we're gonna The have Tiffany to. two. We've got to have them. And then we'll get a boat. When we move to Florida. Oh, we're moving. We'll name it the Tiffany 2. Oh, we're packing up our bags and we're moving south. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my brothers and a guy named Ralph. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Ralph? Yeah, Ralph. Oh, hey, my Joe. gosh. <laughs> That's me. It's like this weird song we just come up with. <laughs> um, no, I, I, uh, I just, I, I, I remember, dude, the water was so warm. The oh. water was so warm. It was That's, amazing. Yes. It was like bathtub water. Mm -hmm. And we weren't there in the dead of summer either. No. We were there sort of the end of summer. Yeah, well, it was like right? the beginning of or fall. Or was it the beginning of fall? Right. That's why that storm, it, it was in. actually a winter storm. And it right. came in so early and it was it was so much bigger than anybody had ever expected. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the because their Ocean. seasons are opposite of ours, right? Exact opposite. Yep. So we were here. We were here. Uh, we went in spring here. Yeah, and exactly. it would be the end of summer going into fall there exactly. or something, right? We were going into spring here. And they were going into like the end of their summer, end of the summer in fall. fall, right? Because remember, we had some days that actually were yeah. No, you don't, you don't realize that with uh, Australia, but they, they get they get cold days. I mean, they, they don't. Do. It's not always you know as warm. I mean, yeah. obviously, northern Australia is, but the southern right. Australian yeah, parts, well, the Gold Coast, Gold Coast, but that's like right in between kind is of. It? Yeah. Okay, because that's where we were. Yeah, we were spent most of the time in Gold Coast. Did we go anywhere else? I don't think we well, did. I did. Well, you went everywhere because you were there for like six weeks in and around the film. I understand. Yeah. Okay, whatever, braggy. I went everywhere. Braggy pants over there. The only place, actually, you know what? I didn't know. There's no I, place I, didn't I didn't go. I didn't go to Perth on the other side. Oh. I never got that far on the other side. Wow. All right. Yeah. And that's like where you're getting a lot Did of Did you do it on Perth piss? What? Nothing. Did you do it on Perth? Perth piss? <laughs> you know what I did do, <laughs> though? I, I, Perth did you guys do this? Because, again, we didn't fly together. I purposely flew out of Auckland, New Zealand. So I would get a layover to go and explore New Zealand as well. I don't think we did that. You didn't do that? I had an abscess tooth. Remember? Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, I remember in. that. Yeah. yeah that was and awful. it like thirty five thousand feet, my tooth abscessed. Dude, it's awful. I felt like I I don't know what the dentist on the plane. There happened to be a dentist on the plane, and they had eight hundred oh, milligram ibuprofen. And they pulled the tooth, and it didn't touch it. it oh. Did not touch yeah, the pain. And I remember him saying, I remember hearing because I was in so much pain. He said, "This is literally they associate it to like literally like." somewhat of a gunshot wound like that's how painful it oh, is oh it is i've had one and it was going up and because the pressure in the plane yeah it's off i couldn't get any relief and i'll never forget it they had an ambulance waiting for me they landed the plane they pulled oh, the the, the ambulance up and goodness. the stairs took me out they didn't even get me over to the hangar and when i, I remember they rushed me to some dentist and when i got to the dentist chair and she put the novocaine oh, it's, in it's, it's like, i passed out yeah I now, literally imagine. i was like out they did the whole thing, removed it, did the whole root canal, everything. Yeah. I woke up. I didn't remember any of it. I had no medicine to put me out. It was just the Novocaine because I had been in so much pain yeah. and the tension was so bad for like four hours, five hours. Four? No, it was, flights, it was the last 14, five hours of the plane, though. Hours. It was oh, the last gotcha. five hours of the plane. It, it abscessed about like seven, eight hours in. Oh, my. God. I'll never forget it, bro. Oh. I couldn't believe it. I was like, something's wrong. I'll never forget it. And mom was like, what's wrong? I was like, I don't know. It just, this hurts over here. She was like, oh. did you bite your lip? An abscess, Oof. no joke. Uh, is that's that rough. crazy? Yeah, it's rough. I'll never that's forget so that. You remember that's dad, how my trip started. Dad wow. stayed back. And yeah. Didn't he like paint the house or something? Painted the house. That's right. He was bored. He painted yeah. the house. And then he came and met up with us though. Yeah, that's right. And then yeah. I was. I remember that was. We do a little work, and I got to paint this house. Yeah. yeah, he redid all the yeah. uh, all the thresholds. Thresholds. I remember. Yeah, windows. We were gone for a long time, and then he came and met up with us. It was so fun. It was like a seven week shoot. Something. What a dream, huh? What a fun time. It was seven or eight weeks of shooting. Yeah. How Definitely. lucky! How lucky are we to be able to experience that? I mean, not only once, but multiple times I in know. our lifetime as a family I, yeah. to go some place really awesome and, I know. and, and film and, and do film some, and do some and like work. Yeah, like work and also be together what and just it's epic. Great. spend that time together. Wonderful it's blessing. Great, you don't have the you don't have the stress of oh we're spending all this money right on a vacation no. and stuff. It was and it and also too it's like vacation can get old after a couple of weeks when you're just kind of you know. But this was because you're working and it, you have this incredible work. You, it's it's awesome. You carve out these small moments yeah. of vacation like time. Yeah. In or in you know, surrounded by a ton of work and long hours. Yeah. But to your point, Matt, like you you're it's just you really get to just enjoy those moments yeah. that you do carve out because 
well, you're actually being paid to be there. You're yeah. not paying to be there. Yeah. It's exactly. a whole different mindset, yep. you know? Um, and they took such great care of us. I mean, that's back when Disney was taking care of everybody really great. And yep. they wow. really they really took these Disney movies very seriously. Yep. And they hired really good quality people to make them, which is why a lot of the early DCOM movies were so good. Yeah, for sure. What and hotel What hotel did we... I, mean, I remember that... Amazing hotel. Because a lot of that... Ca- under, if you watched the movie, a lot of the underwater stuff was made in the hotel pool, pool right? Because right. it was like a fish. Yeah. Did you just say yeah. that? Yeah, you did. You did. Not on... But I think it you said... It was a saltwater pool. Yeah, but you didn't yeah. say that. 30 feet deep. You didn't talk about it here. You With caves. About it on the... On a, Fish, turtles. Yeah, I think I just said I this. think he said it a little oh, while ago. You guys, it was the AMA episode. Well, he said it on the AMA one, too, uh, for a brief second, but I think he did say it on this one. Here's the deal. Uh, send us a comment. If we've said it, that means we're losing our minds and we apologize. No, you um, said it when we were watching it. No, I know, but I think he said it here, too, bro. But quickly. I don't think you were listening. You were Googling. You were Googling or something. Google, maybe. You, were, you, were, you were going down the Paul Hogan, uh, uh, maybe. you know, hole. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what happened during those three minutes. I mean, Probably I could have been. possible. <laughs> I, t- I, 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 I will admit, I sometimes. Linda Kozlowski. Tune, tune you they guys out. They were married out. 24 years. What were you guys saying? I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. There's oh, a okay. funny story about that. I was like, <clears throat> they were like, now we have somebody that can that can swim down and, and, and swim through that cave and come up on the other side because it's it's quite far, Matt. And if you're not, you know. I remember you. And I was like, no, yeah. I, I'm going to do this stunt. Man, when I got down there, I got really scared Dude. because I didn't know. <laughs> Just as I got to the cave, I was like, I'm out of breath. I know. Oh, terrible like, you know what I didn't think was? Where is he? Was, was how much energy I'd exert to Where's get Matt? down 30 feet. Matt just goes floating up. No, I was scared, guys. <laughs> oh. I actually freaked out down there. I was yeah. like, am I going to get to this cave yeah. without <gasps> taking in water? Also, because yeah. it was so cold. Yeah. The surface, 10 feet, mm. was Great. reasonable. When you got down, oh reason. my gosh! And it so that like it got took my breath away. Yeah. Oh man, I was scared down yeah. there a little bit. Yep. Have where did admit. we do the one where we came up underneath that cave? That was the pool. Oh, that was the pool. That's right. They it's had all that the cave, pool. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. What was the name pool. of that hotel? Oh. Honestly, I think it was like a Hilton. I think Me somebody too. said that it got destroyed though. I think it did in, a in big the storm. in like remember when that tsunami hit or whatever that big wave hit Australia. What? It got destroyed in a flood. It was they flooded. Tsunami. No, not tsunami, but they got when, when the big wave of, of 2028. No, Joe, it has, no, that hasn't happened yet, Joe. Yeah, I know Joe that. just predicted something. No, he's no. a he's a clairvoyant. <laughs> no Stradamus. No, listen, hold on, wait a minute. No Stradamus. Uh, listen, no, wait, listen, hold on. Wait, what? Wait, hold on, wait. There was it a did big. Get destroyed. It did, right? I'm almost positive. I think it was. It was. Remember how wet? Remember? So remember? It during flooded that, during that storm. Yeah. The waves reached the darn pool. It was right. right on the water. Right. And that was, and I think another storm. I'm telling you. That was even I, it a wasn't little a bigger tsunami, than that. but I think they had a massive storm. They had a massive storm. And that, the storm surge, I think, wiped out the hotel. That hotel. I think yes. it did. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. I remember uh, hearing uh, that going, oh my gosh, that hotel I know. was gone. Because <clears throat> that hotel was built, it was very open. Remember, the hallways were it was all open. All open. It was beautiful. Oh, was dude. it Hilton Surfer's Paradise? Ooh. Maybe. Now, they might have rebuilt it. No. They might have rebuilt it. As a matter of fact, built in Gold Coast, right? Maybe it was. Yeah, it's one of those. Yeah. What does it say? Did you type in saltwater pool? Hilton <sighs> Gold Coast. Oh, this is gonna make for people who are loving this right now. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Yeah, we will. So uh, I think they re- Surfers Paradise Hilton. That's that's what it was, but they've rebuilt it because it didn't look like this. No, this isn't. Look at this. Yeah, this isn't. It. Didn't look like this. This is like Abu Dhabi yeah, or something. No, like, no, no, they... no, 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 no. You know what? It wasn't. Okay, it wasn't the Surfer's Paradise Hilton. I've been to, I went to Surfer's Paradise. We oh, yeah, no, it wasn't this one. We weren't in Surfer's Paradise. No. Surfer's Paradise is, you would know it. It's like, we would, remember, I don't know. We were in a gangster's paradise. Did you guys ever? Coolio. Coolio. Surfer's Paradise is like, Coolio. Coolio, man. Surfer's Paradise is like the Vegas of Australia. I mean, you would know it if you were there. there. It was not there. It was definitely Gold Coast. Yeah. And because I, we, we did drive in once. Yeah, we did. To Surfer's Paradise. Remember how like, it was like Shanghai in a sense. Oh, yeah, All the lights and the hotels and shops and stuff. Nicholas Cage goes to just get away from everything. When I need to relax, I go to a little place called Shanghai. <laughs> he um, does. That's what he said. So no, it was <laughs> not. It was not that one at all. Oh yeah, um, no, no, no. no. It, was definitely, it was definitely on the Gold Coast. And it was a Gold Coast, but it was much more open and uh, yes. there wasn't a lot around it. Do you nope. remember the, the plate spiders? Those what are those things called? Those Huntsman. Huntsman. Big what? ass spiders, bro. Okay, yeah. I got a story for you guys. Yeah. Again. All right, wrap it up with a story, Matt. Wrap, wrap it, it up. up. Yeah, we're going to end this with a solo. No. Solo story. No, yeah, we got lots done. more to talk oh, about, boy. guys. No, we don't. We don't. There's lots more to do. So you can, we'll talk about it later. Big girlfriend. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Me girlfriend and I didn't have a good night. Oh, you don't say. I remember being in the back seat going, 
This guy with the stories. <laughs> every, I mean, every night, I remember every day, every one morning. of us said, "Why are you maybe, together?" Maybe, maybe it might have yeah. been Andy. One of us said, "Why are you guys still together?" Me, we love each other. It's like, all you right. You know what it's like when you love someone. Right. Why are you imitating a leprechaun? Yeah, kind of sounded, who is, sounded like that. Who is this he lucky didn't sound charms? Australian. He did not. Who is this lucky charms dude yeah. that's driving us oh, around? Oh, yes, me girlfriend. Me girlfriend. No. It was so yes. Interesting. Yeah, it exactly was. what he sounded exactly like. What it was like. Oh, all right. No. So, anyway, what was your story? Um, okay. So, um, I, uh, I went and stayed in this really cool place okay. in. Um, Oh gosh, what's the famous place uh, with the lighthouse? Uh, Byron Bay. Byron Bay. And it was. I remember you saying that because you got inspired for your house. Yes. And you bought all those um all, Indian yeah, tapestries yes. and the pink yes. pillows, right? Yes, hundred percent. I remember I that. Bro. And you know it's funny? I literally came back and bought this house we were in and right turned it now. into it and turned it into. I remember you doing like that. That villa. Your original lights in your bedroom. You had the incandescent bulbs, mm-hmm. but you had those um, almost like um, shrouds. Oh, yeah. Over them. Remember mm-hmm. those beautiful silk shrouds? The silk shrouds. And you said you got inspired by that suite you stayed at yeah, in Byron Bay. Same thing. And you put a ceiling fan yep. above your bed, this really cool yep. ceiling fan. And when you turned it on low, the shrouds along mm-hmm. the incandescent yeah. lights would blow. Mm-hmm. And it reminded you because mm-hmm. in that room, you said you, the windows had a natural breeze. There you were just, no windows. Right, right. There were no windows. That's no right. windows. Right. No windows. And what do you uh, mean? no water. No, just walls. <laughs> what? No, they, they just no had window. these giant, <laughs> dun, dun, these dun. giant shades. Let's play a game. These giant oh, shades gosh, that, that no. you could, these giant shades that you could close. Like, like you know, the wow. slatted yeah, yeah. shades. That's it. That's all that, the plantation yeah, yeah, shutters yeah, in a yeah, sense. Yeah. That's all that there were. There were actually no glass. There was Security shutters come down. Purge. Yeah. There was no Welcome screens. Welcome to Australia, guys. mate. It was really like we're gonna play awesome. a little game. Really cool. Anyway, <laughs> they. Do you know the reason why I found it is because I, like, I want to find the coolest place ever, and it was where Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman they shut down the whole bed and breakfast no. for their honeymoon. Really? Mm-hmm. That was where they stayed. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, interesting fact. Anyway, wow. But All one right. thing, well, and you know me, I'm Mister. Said one thing. I'm Mister Nature it. Guy. Okay. Okay, but this this even got me. Oh, well, I would not have been able With to With no that. windows and the no screens. Yeah, no screens. Dude, it was really cool. It was an eco resort, but like way back in 2000 when you never even heard about eco this and that. Mm. They had Aussie water dragons mm. hanging out by the pool. Mm. It was the coolest thing ever. Mm. Anyway, but they didn't spray for bugs wow. at all. It's not good. So. It's not good. They cultivated mm. the huntsman spiders not because good. the huntsman spiders killed the roaches in particular and took care of the cockroach problem that, that the hotel would ever have. However, problem is they got a little angry. In every room, no, come on, bro. Now, granted, the Huntsman spider, if you've ever seen these things, are the size of my hand. Bro. Easy, okay. Easily bro. the size of my hand. Bro, yeah. no, no. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're, 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 they're basically, they're, the they're basically a gigantic wolf spider. They don't make webs. And they run around and they catch, in particular, the cockroaches, any other little spider that would be around. So they really are quite effective at taking care of the But do they, the but do they bite you? Well, they can, but they, they don't really mess with you. Here's the thing. They can? No, wait, here's the Bro, thing. Bro, no. So I get into the room and I'm like, as you know, I copied it from my house. I was like, this is the coolest place ever. I kick back, I throw, I kick back on the, it was just this outdoor on the patio, this gigantic kind of day bed. I kick back and I'm looking and then I go into the room and I'm, I'm laying in the bed in there, and I'm like, wow, there was no TVs. There was nothing like that. Whoa. I was like, wow, this is the coolest thing. And I look up in the corner of the room. Oh, gosh. There is a spider the size of my hand just chilling there. Now, even for me, I literally then go, huh. I walk down to the front desk, and I'm like, yeah, um, there's a, there's a giant hand-sized spider. And this is the first time I had actually learned, because yeah. this, this was before we started shooting. First time I learned about the huntsman spider. I was like, oh yeah, that's a huntsman. Uh, you know, we cultivate them here because we don't spray. It's an eco resort and they will take care of all the other little critters that, that actually do mess with you. But it won't mess with you, I promise. And I was like, okay. All right, here we go. That's not the end of the story. The end of the story is all day. He's sitting up there. I can see him. Don't have a problem. No, don't tell me at night he vanishes. Please, please, bro. The lights go dim. No, dude. <laughs> Sun sets. <laughs> I get in. I take a nice shower in this beautiful half indoor, outdoor shower. Okay. It was epic, right? Okay. There's little geckos. I'm loving it, right? The geckos are eating up all the, the mozzies. Boom, bing, bing. Like, like, bing, bing. You hear them like almost eat the little There's mozzies. Like a lot of bugs, bro. Get into bed. I look up in the corner and the gigantic huntsman spider is gone. 
Whoa. He is now running around the room, dude, <laughs> at night, dude, catching cockroaches, doing dude. whatever he does. Doing his job. Doing he's, his job. And I got to be his, honest, that his first his, night. His stay. Even me, who really loved that, I was like, oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. No, bro. I had to cover some. No, bro. I'm like, oh, goodness. All right. Well, let's see. Anyway, I woke. I went to sleep, woke up, and there he is in the corner of the room the next day. So I was like, you know what? And he just does his thing. He's just up there drinking a cup of and coffee. That's, uh, that's Smoking. What Smoking you a cigarette. like a little baby. Smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you slept like a baby, didn't you? Little six month old baby thanks to me. He has an Australian accent. Don't so forget. I oh, wound hey, up baby. trying to make friends baby. with him. Right? It's like baby. a peace officer. Thing. I would sacrifice some large insects that I'd caught during the day. Um, wow. And I would literally peace hand feed um, the huntsman um, spider. Um, 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 yeah. Dear but huntsman then I told spider. the guy, I was um, like, um, don't worry, um, I made um, peace with it. I caught a huge cockroach and I fed it to him. He's like, well, don't do that because now he's not going to hunt the cockroaches in the room. And I was like, oh. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh. I won't be feeding the oh, stuff. He's not going to need to eat for another week. <laughs> yeah. oh, can all I these, change rooms? All these cockroaches yeah. come out. Yeah, no. <laughs> I just love that you're you're like presenting this this insect gift to like the huntsman as if it was King Kong. You know what and I, I mean? And I I heard the I heard the drums. That's what I was doing. Yeah. You wouldn't let me do it, but I was going like that yeah. with drums. Anyway. <laughs> well, the last thing I'll say is, aren't those those are different than the plate spiders that are over in Iraq? That's right? the Amazon, not Iraq. No, no, no wait. What? Wait, Joe, no, they said that in Desert Storm. There's scorpions. No, they said in Desert Storm. Oh, yeah, there are. There that what are. happened is these massive spiders. Yeah. What? And what yeah. they do is they you land know, on you, you know and they secrete be... a, some venom that numbs what? you, yeah, and then they eat your skin. I don't know if it's, if it's Afghanistan. They're the size of plates. Might be Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Uh, yes. What? I don't know. You know, my no. I have, I, my good buddy I'm Israel, kidding, uh, was all, we should have him on because he could talk about his, his time in the military. And I okay. Think, I think he has some experience with these little little guys. No, I don't think they're giant guys. Yeah, they're pretty They're pretty badass. They're scorp scorpions and something else. What are they, like a whip spider <laughs> or something? <laughs> My Google's not working down here. But the, anyway, the, the it's called the dinner plate spider because no joke, it can wrap its legs yeah. on the edges of a plate. That's how big it is. That's an Amazon rainforest. But you know what? The camel indi spiders. The indigenous, really? camel spiders, the indigenous yeah. people in the rainforest, you know, they, they actually they cook them and they eat them. Yo, I like would, a land crab. But you have was to get in, all the hairs off. Because just like yeah, any the, other tarantula, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you don't get the hairs yeah. off, I mean, it'll destroy your throat. Dude, I was in... The hairs have little venom in them. Oh, and I was all in, the hairs on the back end of the spider. So you, you singe off all the hairs, they, then you roast them, and then you eat them. Like when I was in when I was in Kenya, I took a shower in, in, an outside, in an outdoor shower, and there was this little light... And I and and I didn't realize that the shower like started to flood a little bit. Yeah. So there's like an inch of water that had gathered on the bottom, and I'm there in this in the light. I see this like iridescent thing start floating in the water, and you got to Google this. It's a wind scorpion. They're what? harmless, but check out what a wind scorpion in Africa looks like, dude. It is the scary. A I literally, whip. bro. I I was in the middle of the whip. night. Wind. Whip scorpion. No, I think it's a wind scorpion. I've never heard of a wind scorpion. I have heard of a whip scorpion. Wind. It has a whip on its tail instead of an actual stick. Dude, no wind scorpion. They run up to they run up to fifteen miles an hour on the sand. Oh, also the known as dinner plates, and they uh, land on you, and they they basically drop a little bit of venom on you. What? That numbs you, and no. then they eat your skin. No. Yes, while you sleep. Wind scorpion, also known as a sun spider, that was in my shower. Mm. And That's harmless. Harmless, dude. But I that freaked. doesn't look harmless. Dude, they're bro. huge. I freaked out. Wow. Look at this Imagine being spider. in Africa and this thing's that's, floating that's around in the shower. Holding, that's somebody holding that spider. That's not real, Joe. That's from a movie set. No, bro. It's arachnophobia too. No, dude, it's not. That's not from, even that's one. From, that's from Iraq. That's picture taken. Two thousand three. Arachnophobia <laughs> two. We're out of um, here. Oh wait, one more, story, one more story. No, I'm done. I'm leaving. Andy, I only want to see the chair potato anymore. flies in Africa. Yeah, they're giant. Joe, yeah. you would have lost your mind. We do they bite? Joe, they're the, they're called potatoes because they are almost three inches long. Come on, man. They're a giant fly. Out of here. They bounce off of you, and there's so many of them. They they flood the air like you would think, like gnats, but they're this big. So much so that when we had to get out of the car oh, and go to the go into the airport, we had to run with like shirts overhead because they were. I mean, like it was so thick, Joe. Dude, oh, you would have done. No. Remember, wait. No. Am I, was it Not jumping happening. ship at the fly or was it in Vancouver again? I keep getting them crossed up. The the burrow, the flies that were burrowing in your neck. Oh, that was Vancouver. That was Vancouver. That was on Brothers of the Frontier. Bot flies on it? Jeez, I'm all over the place, No, not bot flies are Africa, but it was a black fly, I think. Can't keep them straight. Can't keep them straight. It was, they would burrow. House flies, bot flies. They burrow, and you can't pull them out because the head gets stuck. Yeah, I remember this. And one did, and one landed on you in a take, and I didn't want to ruin it, but I think I was like, 
we got to cut because there's a yep. fly burrowing in his neck. Yep. All right. Crazy. Wow. What adventures? More to come. More to come. To... More wow. adventures to come, everybody. Anyway, if you want to watch the uh, the Jumping Ship rewatch with us, it's on our Supercast. Check yep. it out there. Uh, we watched it on Disney+. Plus. So Yeah, Disney+. Plus. And Great we're not times. plugging it because we don't no. even get to see a, a single dollar. No, that. no. no but just, it was fun. It was fun. Nice <laughs> walk down memory lane. It was fun. Walk down also, memory lane. Also, don't forget to check out our YouTube page and please subscribe. Yes. Yep. Please. All right, guys. God bless everybody. Thanks so much for just tuning in every week and listening to us and watching us and supporting us. Honestly, we're over a year in. We had no idea we'd be doing this uh, more than two weeks, uh, let alone, you know, as many weeks we've been doing this. It's all thanks to you. God bless. Have a great we're weekend. We're going to keep it going. We see are. you next Friday, everybody. We'll next Friday. Now, we're going to grab some lunch. Yeah. I hope you do, too. Yep. Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. God bless. Hey, what's up, everybody? The, the Lawrence, Lawrence Brothers, Brothers are, here. are here. Thank you so much for enjoying this week's episode of the Brotherly Love Pod. And if you want more of this show... Check out our premium feed on Supercast. That's right, where you'll see ad-free episodes, monthly AMAs, behind-the-scene content, and so much more. That's brotherlylove.supercast.com to join. Check out our link tree and subscribe on all platforms. We'll see you all next week. week.